For the last few months or so, I have been a very happy user of the Qtile window manager. I think and have thought that Qtile is a fantastic window manager, and I've gone so far as to say that it's my favorite window manager. I've sung its praises high and low here on the channel, on social media. I've just talked till I'm blue in the face about how awesome Qtile is. And I truly do believe that Qtile is a fantastic window manager, but lately it has not been treating me well. There have been some dependency updates that have gone on in the background that broke it on OpenSUSE. I thought it was an OpenSUSE problem, so I hopped to Fedora. I've had the same problems on Fedora. I have not been able to get them fixed. So I have been looking for an alternative to Qtile that would make me happy again. You know, I just don't, I just want to be happy and productive with when it comes to my window manager. And I like to be able to theme things and have options and all this stuff. So I'm looking for the perfect solution. And for the long time, longest time, I've thought it was Qtile, but because I'm having those problems and, you know, I can't fix them, I decided to find something else. So I'm actually returning to an old favorite of mine. Now, like I said, if you've watched my channel for any amount of time, you know that I go through favorites quite often. So it's not surprising that I've had many favorites over the course of three years here. I would like to change things, try new things and stuff like that. So I'm actually returning to an old favorite of mine and that is DWM. So I've gone suckless y'all. I've gone suckless and this is my suckless setup as of right now. I've spent literally all day doing this when I should have been working. So first of all, let's not talk about my productivity. It was horrendous today, but some days are just like that. So I, I've spent all day and this is as far as I've got. So I know it does not look much, like much, but I've managed to set up many different things. And the thing is, is that when you do DWM, the thing that takes the longest when you're setting it up is patching. So if I go into my suckless folder, these are the patches that I've applied. Yeah, that's a lot of freaking patches, guys. Now, if you've ever used DWM before, you know that the more patches that you use, the harder it gets to actually patch, simply because you're changing line numbers and stuff like that, and you're changing lines and all this stuff. The more patches you add, the harder it is to continue to patch. This right here is 23 patches. It's by far the most patches I've ever done manually on DWM. Now, if you've used DWM Flexi Patch before, it's much easier to do more patches. But I didn't use Flexi Patch because they didn't have all the patches that I wanted. So I decided to do them all manually because I'm a nerd and I enjoy this kind of thing. So I managed to do 23. I planned on doing 28. Three of them I changed my mind on. Two of them failed completely. So I have spent all day doing this and I've had a good time doing it. I chose DWM because, well, first of all, I'm very familiar with it. I've used it for a very long time. C is probably the, the language that I'm most familiar with outside of HTML and CSS, I guess. You know, if you consider those languages. You know, th this is the language that I've spent the most time in over the years. I understand more of it than any of the others. So I decided to go with DWM over other options. So I just I thought about Xmonad for about 30 seconds and realized, no, I'm not going to Xmonad. I Xmonad doesn't like me and I don't like like Xmonad, so I threw that out the window. I also considered BSPWM and honestly, there's still a chance that I might go to BSPWM if I can't get everything that I want working here in DWM. And I'll talk about that here in a minute. Uh, so that's like that was like my number two option. The third option was going back to i3. Uh, there's nothing wrong with i3. I still think i3 is a fantastic window manager, but I just kind of got tired of i3 after a while, so I'm not really ready to go back to it yet. Now you'll notice that conspicuously missing out of all of the options that I decided to choose from were any Wayland compositors or window managers that use Wayland is the way that I'd prefer to you know to talk about them, and uh, I've talked about that over and over again on this channel. I'm just not ready to switch to Wayland yet. Maybe someday, not there yet. So I only considered Xorg based window managers at the point. And I settled on DWM. I spent the day patching it and I still have a ways to go. So there are a couple things that I want to do and I might as well talk about them seeing as how I'm making a rambly video about this. Uh, the first one is obviously I need to do something with the bar. Now, usually, I use a plugin called DWM Status 2D in order to put the stuff up here in the bar. And I had planned on doing that this time, but I used a wrong patch earlier. So this is the XRDB patch and I need to have the XRDB patch installed, but I can't install that, I don't think, because I used the X Resources patch. 
I think those two would conflict with each other. In fact, I'm positive that they would. Uh, so I can't use status 2D and use the, X re uh, the XRDB patch, which this requires. So I could just use the regular status 2D with, uh, without the XRDB stuff, but then I would have to uh, put away my plans of using Pywall to do all the theming for me. That's the second thing I, I plan on doing, is setting up setting it up so that I can use Pywall on all of DWM stuff, the wallpaper, just like I was doing in Qtile. I want to get that far, and I haven't got there yet. I've gotten close. As far as I know, I have all the pieces in place for me to do so. I'm just missing something. I haven't got there yet. I, I just finished patching, and I wanted to make this video before the my, my time ran out for the day. So, Pywall is something that I definitely want to do, and... The thing is, is that if I can't get Pywall to work, DWM is probably not going to be where I end up completely, finally, you know, for the next few weeks <laughs> or a few months or however long it you know, ends up being before I go to something different. You guys know me. So <laughs> if I can't get Pywall, like I said, there's a good chance that I'll be going to something else because I know I can get it to work in BSPWM. I know I can get it to work in i3. Obviously, if Qtile would just launch for me, I would just continue to use Qtile because it's still my favorite. And I'm pretty sure I probably could get it to work in Xmonad if Haskell didn't exist. But it does exist, and uh, we all know how that goes. So there are obviously those things. Now, I... I didn't consider Awesome Window Manager or Left WM simply because I don't care for Lua with Awesome Window Manager and Left WM I'm not that familiar with. There are a few other Xorg based window managers that I just didn't consider. So just mostly because I haven't spent enough time in them. I'm assuming that Herbst Luft would be fairly easy to get Pywall working in, but again, not that familiar with it. So I didn't get. I didn't consider that. Maybe I'll give it a try here for a video in the next few days or something like that. And just give me something to do. So, <laughs> things how I, I haven't wasted enough time on window managers, I might as well waste some more. Why not, right? So, it's not a waste. It's not a waste if you're having fun. It's not as if I had work to do today. I, <laughs> I did actually have work to do today, but this was more inter interesting. Whatever. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Anyways, so I've gone suckless, and I haven't gone full suckless, of course. I've just decided to use DWM. I'm not even using DMenu. I do have it installed, so I can, you know, I can use DMenu up there. But I haven't customized it at all. I just prefer to use Rofi because it's just better, plus you don't have to patch anything, and I'm so sick of patching already. Even though it was fun, you know, I, I, I'm just sick of patching. So, so I'm not using DMenu, I'm not using Slock, I'm not using SL Status yet, um, mainly because I don't have a way to theme it really, because this is what would control the colors in SL Status. Without Status 2D, I can't, you can't control the colors in SL Status, which is, which is just, I mean, just, if you think about that for a minute, it's just really dumb, but whatever. Uh, and I'm not using Surf, obviously. Or ST, by the way. Uh, this is Kitty. I, I decided to not use ST. Although, if I can't get... I may, I may end up installing ST and using it for my scratch pads if I can't get Kitty to actually show up a spe specific size when it's launched. I can't haven't figured that part out yet. So, I'm still working on it. So, my setup has changed. That's what I wanted to make the video. It's just a random video. I do these from time to time so where I just kind of show you how my setup is transitioning as I change my mind and do little tweaks and stuff like that. And uh, I, they're, they're throwaway videos, and if people are interested in them, that's great. If they're not, you know, they can just pass it by and watch my next video. Whatever whatever suits their boat, f floats their happy. I don't think those are the way that, that those words were supposed to come out, but you guys get the idea, right? So that is it for this video. I have gone kind of suckless, I suppose. I'm using uh, the wrong title, but whatever. That doesn't matter either. I, I don't... I spent a lot of time patching DWM. It would be a, an awful shame if I can't get Pywall to actually work, so I'm going to continue to work on that. I think that it'll be an inter entertaining time. So just before I wrap up, I want to talk about suckless and DWM in general. So this is kind of the meat and potatoes of the video, given the f but the fact that I'm 12 minutes in or whatever, I'm putting the meat and potatoes all the way at the end, but it doesn't matter. I like DWM a lot, and I've talked about this before, but it's definitely probably one of the hardest window managers out there. Now, it's not hard as in hard to install. It's actually fairly easy to install, but out of the box, it's unusable. I mean, it is blatantly unusable. Now, I know there's someone madly in the comment section below, you know, typing, Oh, I use DWM without any patches. Well, first of all, good for you, you masochist. But for the rest of us, 
we need a few patches, right? There, there are a few things in DWM that you have to have in order to make it actually usable. One of those things is to be able to move clients between different positions in the stack. And you can't do that without the move stack patch, right? You can't do that. Or, and, and some people want to have all the same layout on every single tag. You can't do that without per tag. You get the idea, right? There are several different patches that you have to have in order to get DWM to actually function as a window manager. Uh, and, and then once you've started patching, it's kind of hard to stop because there are so many really good ones. I could have went way further than 28. I probably could have got up to 35, even 40 different patches uh, because some of, the, some of them are really, really cool and I want them. But I knew I had to, you know, just at least try to curtail the number of, of patches, even though I didn't do a very good job at 28. And I, I probably could have gotten those three more that I changed my mind on but I just decided not to go with them and I may end up still doing status 2d if I throw away the pie wall idea or maybe I'll go back a few a few patches in my git repository history and pull out the x resources patch and then use the xrdb patch or whatever it is x yeah xrdb patch maybe that's what I end up doing I don't know yet uh but it'll be more patching and that's the whole point is that dwm it takes quite a bit of work. If you, if you want to use it, it, it takes some work. And I always kind of forget how much work it takes. And every time I come back to use it, I'm like, oh yeah, this is why DWM is such a pain in the ass to set up. But it, it was fun for me, but I don't think that it is for everyone. So that is it for this video. If you have thoughts on my journey to back to DWM, you can leave those in the comment section below. If you haven't already, leave a like on this video. I didn't remind you at the beginning, so hopefully if you're still watching this, you'll leave a like because it really does help the channel. I really appreciate it. You can follow me on Mastodon or Odyssey. Those links will be in the video description. You can support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash the Linuxcast. Thanks to everybody who does support me on Patreon and YouTube. You guys are all absolutely amazing. Without you, the channel just would not be anywhere near where it is right now. So thank you so very, 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 very much. You guys are just amazing people. The saints, a lot of you. So thank you so very, very much for your support. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I'll see you next time.